Yum, yum. Floyd here with a quick introduction to adding fillets and chamfers in plasticity. Start by selecting the edges you'd like to manipulate, then left click and drag on the tool handle. Positive values will generate fillets and negative values will create chamfers. Right click to commit. You can quickly remove a fillet or chamfer by simply selecting it and using the keyboard shortcut X. Floyd here with a quick look at removing fillets and plasticity. To remove a fillet, simply select it and press the X key on the keyboard. You can also use the automated method by selecting a solid, pressing F on the keyboard, type in remove and click remove fillets from shell. The fillets that will be removed will be highlighted and you can adjust the attributes such as max radius and convexity and then right click to commit. Use these options to remove fillets from your assets. Floyd here with a quick tip for copying a fillet radius and plasticity. When creating a new fillet, you can click on existing fillets to copy their radius value. This can be extremely useful to ensure that fillets match each other when needed. Floyd here with a quick look at creating variable width fillets and plasticity. Start by selecting the edges you'd like to work with, create a fillet and then press the V key on the keyboard. New handles will appear at the start and the end of the fillet, enabling you to adjust the width over the length of the fillet. Press V again to add a new variable point and adjust each variable point to your liking. You can continue to add new variable points as needed by simply pressing the V key again. Use this powerful feature to enhance the fillets on your assets. Floyd here with a quick introduction to the add limit point feature for chamfers and fillets and plasticity. When creating a chamfer or fillet, you can add a stop point anywhere along an edge. By pressing the L key on the keyboard and clicking on the edge where you'd like to add the limit point. Once placed, you can click the point to change which portion of the edge is affected. Add this powerful feature to your toolkit for additional control when adding chamfers and fillets. Floyd here with a quick tip for adding edges during a fillet operation in plasticity. When performing a fillet on edges, you can press and hold the control key to add additional edges. Use this handy option to speed up asset creation. Floyd here with a quick look at optimizing fillet intersections and plasticity. In this example, I'd like to produce cleaner fillets for this transition area. Start by creating a new curve using the line tool and imprint the curve onto the solid to generate new edges. Next, select all the faces that make up the problem area and press Shift X to remove them. Select the border edges and use the patch hole tool with its fill preference set to smooth with G1 continuity. Right click to commit and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at optimizing fillet intersections and plasticity. In this example, I'd like to produce cleaner fillets for this transition area. Start by adding new edges using the keyboard shortcut Control R to use the isoparam tool. Use the tab key to toggle between vertical and horizontal cuts. With the new edges created, select the faces you'd like to clean and press Shift X to delete them. Select the boundary edges and use the patch hole tool with the fill preference set to smooth, and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at optimizing fillet interactions and plasticity. In this example, if I add fillets to these edges, the results of the transition area is undesirable. To produce cleaner fillets, start by adding new edges using the keyboard shortcut Control R to use the isoparam tool. Use the tab key to toggle between vertical and horizontal cuts. With the new edges created, select the faces you'd like to clean and press Shift X to delete them. Select the boundary edges and use the patch hole tool with the fill preference set to smooth and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at optimizing fillet intersections and plasticity. In this example, if I add fillets to these edges, the result of the transition area is undesirable. To produce cleaner fillets, Start by adding new edges using the keyboard shortcut Control R to use the isoparam tool. You can use the tab key to toggle between vertical and horizontal cuts. Another option for adding new edges is to create new curves and use the imprint curve tool. Then simply remove the faces you'd like to rebuild and then use the patch hole tool. Use this process to clean up other areas until you achieve the result you're after and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at optimizing fillet intersections and plasticity. In this example, if I add fillets to these edges, the result of the transition area is undesirable. To produce cleaner fillets, start by adding a new curve and use the imprint curve tool to generate new edges on the solid. Then simply remove the faces you'd like to rebuild and use the patch hole tool and you're all set.
Floyd here with a quick look at optimizing fillet intersections and plasticity. To produce cleaner corner topology on this asset, start by adding new edges using the keyboard shortcut Control R to use the ISO param tool and use the tab key to toggle between vertical and horizontal cuts. With the new edges created, select the faces you'd like to clean and press Shift X to delete them. Select the boundary edges and use the patch hole tool with the fill preference set to smooth and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at optimizing fillet intersections and plasticity. In this example, after I add fillets to these edges, I can produce cleaner fillets by adding new edges using the keyboard shortcut Control R to use the isoparam tool. Then select these corner faces and press Shift X to delete them. Then select the boundary edges and use the patch hole tool with the fill preference set to smooth to finish the process. Floyd here with a quick look at optimizing fillet intersections and plasticity. In this example, I can produce cleaner fillets by creating a new curve, then using the imprint curve tool using the keyboard shortcut Shift I. Next, add new edges using the keyboard shortcut Control R to use the isoparam tool. Then select these faces and press Shift X to delete them. Then select the boundary edges and use the patch hole tool with the fill preference set to smooth to finish the process. Floyd here with a quick look at optimizing fillet intersections and plasticity. In this example, I can produce cleaner fillets by adding new edges using the keyboard shortcut Control R to use the isoparam tool. Then select these faces and press Shift X to delete them. Create a new line that can be used to aid in patching this chamfer. Then select the boundary edges and use the patch hole tool with the fill preference set to smooth to finish the process. Floyd here with a quick look at optimizing fillet intersections and plasticity. In this example, I can produce cleaner fillets by selecting these edges and pressing Shift D to create a new curve. Select this point and bevel it. Then use the imprint curve tool using the keyboard shortcut Shift I. Next, add new edges using the keyboard shortcut Control R to use the isoparam tool. Then select these faces and press Shift X to delete them. Then select the boundary edges and use the patch hole tool to finish the process. Floyd here with a quick look at optimizing fillet intersections and plasticity. In this example, I can produce cleaner fillets by adding new edges using the keyboard shortcut Control R to use the isoparam tool. Then select these faces and press Shift X to delete them. All that's left is to select the boundary edges and use the patch hole tool to finish the process. Oh, look at the time. <laughs>